Hello and welcome to our English news coming to you from Canal Algérie to the headlines. Army General Saeed Shingriha, Chief of Staff of the People's National Army, on a working and inspection visit to the first military region to follow up the maintenance of arms and electronic systems. The Algerian nationals are satisfied with the facilitations granted by, to them by the National Maritime Company to alleviate the different transportation procedures. The last group of our nationals' kids coming to Algeria for summer cam camping heads to their homeland amid excellent measures. And we share unforgettable moments with Mouloudia of Algiers celebrating the 102nd of its creation. Welcome back. First in our news, Army General Saeed Shingriha, Chief of Staff of the People's National Army, put forward the wariness of the People's National Army to thwart any danger thwarting the country's stability and security during his work in an inspection visit to the first military region. More insights with Najah Tayyar. After the welcoming ceremony, the Army General, accompanied by Major General Ali Sidan, Commander of the 1st Military Region, and Major General Smail Sadiqi, Central Director of Equipment, followed an exhaustive presentation on this important unit presented by its commander. Subsequently, the Army General delivered an orientation speech to the establishment's executives and personnel in which he underlined that the strengthening of the national defense capacities as well as the modernization and the development of the armed forces components are the main axis of the National People's Army strategy to face the possible challenges and dangers. <laughs> Consolidating our national defense capabilities, as well as the modernization and the development of the components of our armed forces, are the main pillars on which we are building within the People's National Army, the worthy heir of the National Liberation Army. Under the supervision of the President of the Republic, Abdel Bajit Boon, the Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces, Minister of the National Defense, our visionary strategy, which takes into account the different developments and the security contexts on the global and the regional scale, in particular the chronic and the multifaceted threats that have increased considerably over the past years, such as terrorism, cross-border organized crime, smuggling and drug trafficking. Our valiant army has succeeded skillfully in facing these threats, thanks to the relevance of the national security approach adopted based on the deep perception of the challenges to be met, the state readiness and the permanent vigilance. Also, thanks to the adhesion of the Algerian people to its security forces and its faithful children who are fully aware of the new challenges and the great efforts that must be made to face them. The Army General stressed that the People's National Army, willing to preserve the legacy of the valiant martyrs and secure the future of the coming generations, will always be ready to face up to any threat likely to undermine security and integrity of Algeria whatever its nature and extent. I would like to emphasize that we will always be ready to face any threat that could hit the security and integrity of our country, regardless of its nature and dimension, because this is the responsibility of preserving the legacy of the valiant martyrs and securing the future of the coming generations. Thus, we live up to our nation's aspirations for stability, security and progress and live up to the deeds of our predecessors who made immense sacrifice for sovereignty and the pride of our country. <laughs>
The Army General then inspected the various workshops of the establishment, where exhaustive explanations were provided on the stages of renovation and maintenance of weapons and electronic systems. <laughs> At the end, the Army General thanked once again the officials, managers and employees of the establishment for the efforts made and the results achieved, while urging them to work tirelessly to provide the awaited technical support to make this establishment another strong producing element to achieve the set objectives. <laughs> At the end of his visit, the Army General Saeed Shingriha, Chief of Staff of the People's National Army, planted a tree on this occasion. Tasked by the President of the Republic, the Minister of Foreign Affairs and National Community Abroad, Ahmed Attaf, is in Washington for a two-day working visit to the United States. This visit comes at the invitation of his U.S. counterpart, Antony Blinken, as part of efforts to consolidate economic cooperation and intensify political dialogue between Algeria and the United States. The aim is to meet the aspirations of the two sides by establishing a strategic partnership and honor their commitment to promote regional and international security and stability. During his stay in Washington, the Minister of Foreign Affairs is expected to meet with the U.S. Secretary of State, Antony Blinken, as well as senior officials from the U.S. State Department and the National Security Council. Ahmed Attaf will also have meetings with U.S. economic operators and representatives of the Algerian community living in the United States. Also tasked by the President of the Republic, the Minister of Trade, Tayyip Zitouni, took part in the opening session of the second G25 African Coffee Summit held in the Republic of Uganda. The summit will discuss the challenges facing African coffee-producing countries, increasing the added value of this product and promoting regional trade within the framework of the African continental free trade area. On the sidelines of the proceedings of trade, uh, of the proceedings, the trade minister Tayyip Zitouni was received by the Ugandan president Yuweri Muveni, to whom he conveyed the greetings of the president of the Republic Abdel Majid Tabun. The meeting was an opportunity to review bilateral relations, which remarkably developed following the last visit paid by the Ugandan president to Algeria and was crowned by several memoranda of understandings. The Algerian nationals are very satisfied with the measures and facilitations granted to them by the National Maritime Company to alleviate the different procedures. A start of relief, as you will discover in this exhaustive report compiled by Sally Merouh. Fitty operations have been carried out by the National Maritime Company, which has taken all the necessary measures to reduce the treatment time and alleviate the different customs procedures. To the great delight of passengers who highly appreciated these great facilitations granted to them by the competent authorities. We are in Algeria, and the traverse is great. Same facilitations are also granted at the level of the boarding hall to the great joy of passengers with less control procedures and better welcome, in addition to top-notch services offered to travelers by the different departments at the level of the port. These facilitations are the outcome of strenuous efforts made by the competent authorities to allow our nationals spend unforgettable moments in their mother country. The last flight towards Algeria took place from the French southern city of Marseille to the benefit of Algerian kids living in France to consolidate their belonging to their motherland, an initiative launched by the Grand Mosque of Paris and the Youth and Sport Ministry. Story by Afaf Belhouchet, taken up by Salim Merouh. <laughs> 
More say the stronghold of the Algerian community. Settled in France, had the honor to witness the last group of kids heading to Algeria for a summer camping within the framework of an initiative meant to consolidate the bonds linking them with their beloved country. A move highly appreciated by these kids eager to discover their original country, Algeria. Oui, c'est la première fois qu'ils vont partir à la colonie, à Benissaf. C'est l'occasion de connaître ses origines, la culture algérienne. Et je voudrais en profiter pour dire merci à la mosquée de Paris et au président Président Bonne. Oui, eh bien, je tenais à remercier le gouvernement algérien ainsi que la grande mosquée de Paris pour l'organisation, l'initiative et tout ce qui va avec. C'est un très bon projet. The delegation is made up of 600 kids accompanied with 60 supervisors. Their final destination is Benissaf Camping Center, a great adventure in the offing for all these excited kids. I'm also fier of being Algerian and uh, one, two, three, viva l'Algérie. I'm very happy, I'm very happy to be Algerian. Je, je remercie le président et Tahiel Gézaï. Ben, merci à la Grande Mosquée de Paris. On va aller en Algérie, on va découvrir des villes. Et merci à la Grande Mosquée de Paris. Merci pour tous ceux qui ont organisé ce voyage. L'Algérie, c'est les meilleurs et ça restera les meilleurs pour tout le temps, pour toute la vie. Et euh, Tahiel Gézaï. Tahiel Gézaï, je remercie le président d'Algérie pour nous offrir ce voyage. Et euh, on est arrivé à l'Algérie. Ça ne sera pas la. La dernière, euh, les dernières sorties comme ça, j'espère qu'on va faire euh, plusieurs visites de l'Algérie. On va essayer de visiter un peu toutes les villes et tout. So far, the initiative is a, a telling success, likely to make these kids closer to their ancestors' country. Happy holidays is the least to say to them. After the expiry of the deadline set for releasing the Nigerian president, Mohamed Bazoum, and resuming his constitutional functions, calls are launched here and there to restore order and save the country from any drift that will wreak havoc and turmoil in this African country. The meeting due to be held by the Economic Community of West African States, ECOWAS, next Thursday in the Nigerian capital is eagerly awaited to contain this situation and reach a lasting settlement to the current crisis. And we wrap up our news with these beautiful scenes as part of the festivities marking the 102nd anniversary of the creation of MCA, the prestigious melody of Algiers. Enjoy and bye-bye.